fucking live. Yes. We're here. We're fired the fuck up, dude. Yes. God damn, this is motherfucking bullshit. If anyone no, needs, no. if anybody, <laughs> right back. Well, no. What I'm saying here, dig this, dude. Did you ever see Ray Donovan? Yes. That's what I'm gonna do as my job. You're gonna Ray Donovan cancel people. Pretty much. I'm going to go around and smash N-word tapes. Well, Ray Donovan. <laughs> Ray. I'm going to smash N-word tapes. That's good. Did Ray Donovan start out by getting canceled right away? No, he got molested by a priest. That's how it started? Yeah, Ray Donovan. And the, and the, well, spoiler alert. It was like his brother obviously got molested, but it turns out Ray did too. But there are guys from Boston who got molested by priests, and they're like – they get hired to like – it's funny because they're like Hollywood henchmen. So they go around. They're like they're covering up messes. But it's just like – now that like seeing all this stuff, it would for sure be like blackface, yeah, pictures, n-word tapes, like it tweets. Was, it was funny. I, I was at my parents last night, and at dinner, my mom was like, "Oh, they got Jimmy Kimmel. He did blackface, right?" And I was like, "No, no, that was Jimmy Fallon." Although, yeah, Jimmy Kimmel, yeah, he his was the n-word. Well, <laughs> like, dude, it was funny, yeah. not to be not to get all Chappelle on it, but it's like, can it can a, a white guy be famous without doing blackface? Is it something they make us do to embarrass us? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? And they always say you put black guys in dresses in Hollywood. Why do they always put strong white men in blackface in Hollywood? <laughs> Bro. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to think this is a conspiracy, dude. You want to get into, uh, <laughs> what's that called? Like embarrassment rituals? Yeah. You want to, you want to, you want to have power over somebody in Hollywood? Oh, yeah. Maybe they don't even have to fuck a kid these days. You can just toss them in blackface early in their career and be like, you work for me now. Well, I, I mean, I hate to say it, but I'd say that's progress. Going from like true mandatory kid fucking to a, some blackface. Yeah. It's like maybe we can move on to something yeah. else. <laughs> yeah, I mean, dude. Yeah, imagine- instead of blackface, just like a, a fitted hat. Well, also imagine just being like, you know, like, all right, Jim, we're doing your makeup. And you're like, all right, what are you doing today? Be like, just a little blackface. No big deal. Yeah. And you're like, ah. And they're like, come on. We've worked hard on this. The same thing, yeah, <laughs> the same thing for Chappelle. Like, we wrote it. We wrote it. It's funny. Come on. Just do it. It's going to be – everybody else does it. Yeah, it's – dude. Chappelle I mean, like, has a point though that- they do that to, they do every, it to they do every it. single black comic has had to dress like a woman. True. I actually have a theory that I think – and I don't know if Eddie Murphy is going to go for it. But I think Trump is going to try to hire Eddie Murphy to play nine different black cabinet members for 2020. <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> Dude. He just can, plays nine different – he's like, yeah. oh, I have nine different members. And just you Eddie Murphy sit them behind him. And every time he does a campaign, you should just have Eddie Murphy like get up, go to the bathroom, come back as a woman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah did you watch that you watched trump down in tulsa i caught pieces of it on on the it's, thing they're calling him a loser they're like how does it feel they're basically they're attacking trump with trump stuff like how does it feel to be a loser with nobody coming to your rally blah 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 uh, like, yeah man he I, was up there he like i was you know what I, i'm sorry mr president for ragging on you for the water drinking he, he, he silenced me Really? He was on stage. He was like, <laughs> <laughs> and then so he, he threw it. He could, damn. And then he threw it, and he was like, "Fuck off with that water shit, dude." He was like, "See, I can drink water. I'm pretty good." Oh, did they- that's where we're at as far as the president. He's like, Psh, "Watch me drink this. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Next, <laughs> you should just make him go through like assisted. What is it, like activities of daily living? Yeah." Like, watch me get out of bed, dude. Not Easy. even a problem. What? Who's talking shit, dude? Yeah, and then he dude, my favorite was him talking about <laughs> he stone cold it like he stone cold it like a pulling spring. Yeah, well, it was still like slow. <laughs> <laughs> like someone bragging about how good they are at drinking water, it was still like <laughs> uh then he he was my favorite part was he was like they tried to get the Christopher Columbus statue, but they couldn't. He protected the it? Italians, the Italians. I love my Italian people, and all these dudes in Oklahoma were like Boo. Yeah, we don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's got to know his audience. It's like, yeah, it's when you like you do a bait up in the north and you go down south of it and everyone's like, oh, and you're like, oh, shit, fuck. Yeah, fuck, I forgot these are different honkies. So he was going to start calling out different ethnic. He was going to start like yeah. calling out. He tried out to some- be like, they tried. They tried to get that Columbus statue, but whew, there were some tough Italian. There's some tough wops there that shut it yeah, down. Yeah, he did. He almost hit your, your version of the Italians. Did he? He was close. He's like, I love the Italians. <laughs> you know, it was great. <laughs> And just watching dudes in cowboy hats be like, I guess. Yeah. Like, which ones good. are they again? Yeah. <laughs> Those ain't fucking Catholics. <laughs> yeah, it's been fun. Things are good. Yeah, man. They're gonna, uh, Sean King said Jesus was racist. White Jesus was a form of white supremacy. 
sick. Who's Sean King? Uh, he's the white guy that's the head of Black Lives Matter. <laughs> he's, the, he's the white guy that is trying to hide being white by putting like a pencil mustache on. Uh, he, he just grew his facial hair. It would look. He put like, on that Rappaport's Puerto Rican costume? Yes. Oh. He fully has like a pencil mustache and the pencil goatee. He's Ali G. It, full Ali G, dude. Oh, dude. Look. <laughs> you, know, you can't you can't accuse somebody of being white. I don't think. But boy, this, he's close. He's edging blackface. He's edging. When he's edging Dolezal. He's a couple of spray tans. Mayor, I'm going to need your mic on this. <laughs> I'm going to need you to say some things I can't. Okay. <laughs> Who do you think looks blacker? Rachel Dolezal or Sean King? Rachel Dolezal. Oh, I know In Sean King. In a landslide, King. right? In a landslide, yeah, easy. <laughs> All right, thank you. Thank you. Also, Let's get Rachel a camera Dole. on the mayor, please. <laughs> well, mayor, can you do cue cards? Be like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll hold something up. You say it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> film it. Look at my African-American over there. <laughs> I love them. Dude, the uh, – fuck, man. I forgot. Also, Lamare, there's a viewer who is disturbed by you laughing and wishes you to stop. <laughs> oh. Did you read that? No. Everyone's like, oh, it's so fun hearing people. One guy's like, I fucking hate hearing them laugh in the uh, background. So for that one joyless, soulless individual, Lamare, if you could please fuck, muzzle your human joy, that would be pre- preferable. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's good. It's nice. I fucking hate the sound of that guy laughing on that comedy it's podcast. It pisses me off. No. They got <laughs> fucking Shane dead. Yeah, it was one of them. They don't fall off. <laughs> Dude, did you... Well, uh, I don't fall off. <laughs> did you hear about uh, Kim Jong-un blowing or uh, attacking like a South Korea communication? Yeah, reporter? I heard about that. You know what that was about? No. They were sending uh, in balloons. They were sending unflattering messages about the fucking Supreme Leader. Imagine that, dude. They were using up technique. Yeah. They were just sending over messages on balloons. In they balloons. pop. Yeah. They were doing like engagement party. Like, uh, it's That's a, fucked They are doing like gender reveal tactics on him. <laughs> <laughs> they were all pink. Yeah. He's <laughs> like, what? <laughs> they, uh, yeah, they did it. And that's why he bombed He bombed them being like they're fucking disgusting pigs. And that's why they're interfering with like the Supreme Leader. And that's what they get. Which is kind of funny too to be like trying to handle the in and outs of like just running a dictatorship. And be like, what are they doing? God fucking. Will this yeah. shit ever fucking stop? Can I not just be Supreme yeah, Leader? Let me please? Be fucking chill. <laughs> Blow them up. Yeah, dude. Blew it up. <laughs> Find out where they sent those well, They were sending from. pamphlets. They were sending yeah. balloons with pamphlets to be like, you know that guy's not the Supreme Leader? And people yeah. are like, I'm confused now. <laughs> like, yeah, check this <laughs> out. a bummer to get also, that pamphlet. You're over there. You just ate your third kid. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, fucking, well, it's, it's that. It's like, it's like propaganda against Kim Jong-un not being the Supreme Leader. And then it's like, also, check out Anaconda 2 on Blu-ray. And you're like, say, what the fuck is this? That is truthfully the – yeah, it's like the Soviet Union when we hit them with a little rock and roll. Yeah. They need to see Anaconda. Deep Blue Sea. And they're like, whoa, this shit was Deep fucking sick. Fucking is that LL, LL Cool J Axe? Is that rap? Is that rap report? <laughs> what up, boy? <laughs> Deep Damn, Blue dude. Sea ruled. I live behind this fucking wall of oppression. I didn't know that LL Cool J Axe. If the, yeah, if, if we could send to North Korea – yeah, that would that would that would be enough. Send the cast in North Korea. I, I don't you know. True. I respect what Kim Jong's doing over there. I'm like him Dennis and, Rodman. I don't want to disturb. I don't. I don't want to get. It. I don't want to be a cultural imperialist and be like, hey man, he's just, that's just what he does. True. I don't want to try to like instill fucking uh, enlightenment values over there like a fucking white supremacist. It's like, dude, do you what? What's that? What's what's wrong with that? That's dude. That right? I was in in school. I would be like, well, I don't. Here's what I don't understand. Like logically, this doesn't make sense. And yeah. They're like. Logic's a tool of white oppression. It goes back to enlightenment values, and it'd be like, no, dude, I swear to God, they'll argue. This is the, this is like people don't understand. Like when people, everyone laughed at Peterson. It was like, <laughs> they're that's the discourse they're having in school. You, yeah, you pay thousands of dollars to send your kid to go get educated, so they can come home and be like, well, I learned that logic's just a tool of white oppression. So I'm not really supposed to like think logically on things. I'm supposed to just like honor people's emotions and be like, yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck. <laughs> Since I'm telling you, man. It's like, it's who since, told you that? Oh, my white professor. Yeah, my, oh yeah, of course. Yeah, man. It, I'm telling you, it's like. Also, isn't that a little fucking racist? What? Be like, well, logic was invented by white people, so uh, can't do it. Y- yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Well, we, we obviously we invented logic. Yeah, be like, well, you know, that's dude. Exactly, it's insane. And you're like, wait a second, that's kind of weird. Like, no, you said that, and you're like, no, I didn't. <laughs> fucking, I didn't say that. 
I'm telling yeah, you, man, baby. it's it's shaping now. Again, you it it could be argued that what's driving a lot of human desire is this idea of like quote unquote making it showbiz, blowing up. That's now tied to, I would say, what's devolved into a kind of toxic ideology. So people's innate human drives is getting filtered through this weird new religion, and it, dude, it's 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 going yeah. to fall apart. It's going to hundred percent fall apart. Yeah, I was talking about it a little bit on stage, but I was talking about how uh, it was about Harvey, not Dalia. But I was like, people are like, I can't believe he used power to get pussy. Yeah, it's like, really? What do you guys think the point of power is? Yeah, no, that's it. That's li- what do you think people are doing? Yeah. That's the essential point. And then it's like, dude, and nobody wants to talk about this again. I'll say it again. If any of my boys is a pedophile, I'm going to fucking come kill you myself. I'm not, I don't fuck with that. I don't like that stuff. It's absolutely. Unsight. But when they, again, when they, the conversation moves towards like, you know, I'm trying to think of my boys. I would kill all my boys if they were doing any kind of pedophilic stuff. But to be like, oh, yeah, like the other ones that are coming out where they're like, like do you see the shit coming out where they're trying to say like, oh, this guy's cheating on his wife and they're doing yeah. that and they're doing this. It's like. I thought we we're talking. I thought we we're rolling up fucking pedophiles, dude. Now, now we're like, uh, yeah, rolling we're up, like, rolling up adulterers. Yeah, yeah, adulterers. Yeah, we're now we're like, like, wait, he sh- fucked all these chicks and didn't want to date them. Yeah. Get rid of them. Again, so it's like we've come full circle. We've wait. we've been like, fuck religion, God's dead. You know, we're doing, and then all of a sudden it's like, and he thou betrayed sh- the sanctity of marriage. <laughs> yeah, dude. Cancel him. Yeah, it's fucking. It's insane. Who knows, bro? Yeah, uh, that's. I mean, how are yeah. you doing? What's going on with thriving, you? Thriving, bro. Yeah, thriving. what's up? What have you been every up to? day? How's... I'll give you my day to day. This is the other thing too. There's a whole. I mean, this kind of dovetails into my like whole idea of personal cognitive fusion, where it's like you know your it, thoughts that just come through your head are just your thoughts. They don't define you. And then it's like, but then we have this thing that's the media, where it's like these are just stories and things that are happening. Obviously, you know they have real life implications. Obviously. But it's like you also can totally push away from like media narrative and this whole idea and just focus on just killing it yourself. Yeah. That's all I've been doing, man. I've just been like doing the stuff I should be doing. Everything's been awesome. Everything's been going good. But as soon as I like try to touch this fucking yeah. like spiked barb that is like the discourse around like entertainment and politics, I instantly just walk away from it like like I got stung by a bee. My blood kind of runs cold. and I'm like, oh, God, what is that? It's horrible. It Meanwhile, is. you can totally live a, a perfectly fine, fulfilled life. And totally ignore all this shit. Yeah. So that's all I've been doing. I wake up every day. I play with my daughter. It's it's, it's the most. I've been having. I tweeted last night. 2020 is kind of sick, actually. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> I saw it. It's good. It's, I love that your podcast has my name. Or your I'm Twitter starting, has I'm my name. I'm starting my own Twitter. I'm starting my own Twitter. Every time you tweet something, I'm like, yeah, all right. Well, what's, I what's, guess I'm co-signing. Well, what's, what's funny. I, I did, started, though. I did, though. That was funny. Well, what's funny, too, is like people were like, chill, you can't say that. And one guy was like, well, he just had a daughter. Like. That's a pretty yeah. momentous thing. So it's like any belief now is being filtered through current events where it's like 2020 is actually pretty good. It's like, wait, are you racist? You were fucking right. You <laughs> loved it. And it's yeah. like, no, I had a daughter. It's, you know, it's a pretty special. Wait, you love the cops. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm telling you, it's uh, and I, I think O'Connor's wrong on that. It's the thing that needs to happen where it's like, all right, we get all this, but let's kind of, let's try to take some of the emotionality. We have to, you have to take the emotionality out of this. O'Connor's. Big, like imagine if a surgeon wrong about what? of saying like you have to pick either side. It's like no, it's bullshit. It's designed literally to keep people apart and kind of people. Yeah, his is the lesser of two evils argument. Bullshit. That is, we've gone from feudalism to capitalism. You can do another major shift. It's just no one can, no one's sick enough to think about it. But you can even stay within capitalism and rearrange the political political framework where you can be like, all right, like let's have a third party that people just stop being like, oh, what's the point? Or like, you know, we'll just, you know, whatever. I don't know. I'm, yeah. I'm out of my depth on that. For sure. But yeah, man, you can totally cut off from all this stuff and kind of live. I forget my point. I got, I got lost yeah. thinking of all that stuff. But how, how are you doing? What's going on? Chilling, man, dude. Absolutely chilling. Dude. I got yeah. I got to meet your kid. You that saw was Maya. Great. It was beautiful. Yeah. Was sweet. That's the whole point of it, too, dude. I'm serving life right now. It's like anything that's anything that's involving like human beings and actually yeah. helping them versus being like, remember that guy who did that thing in 1984? Yeah. Also retweet my thing. It's like, dude, I, get the fuck out of here. I think Hollywood's going to implode with all this shit. Because the idea yeah. of being an entertainer, you don't need to be greenlit really by – you don't – it's less and less you need to be greenlit by people. I think it's going to be just yeah. a flash in the pan thing where like it's going to be like people are like meteorites. We kind of like, oh shit, there was that guy from the weird funny dance. And then you have you do like a show. Like, oh, it was kind of cool. And you just, people just keep getting yeah. milled out. But I don't know, man. 
<laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. And, I was happy. Stand up was sick. Doing yeah. stand up was nice. Mm-hmm. That was fun. I mean, it's weird when it's all spread out. That was awkward. Yeah. But it was good. Yeah. What was that like of doing? That's, it was fun. So on Wednesday, we went out and did a show with Jay. Mm-hmm. And it was like, that was fun. That was the first time I was up there. And th- there was literally like a moment where I was like, oh shit, this is cool. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, this is fucking sick that I get to do this. And mm-hmm. like, there's time where I was like, I can't believe I'm doing this. Yeah. See, I haven't done it in so long. I was like, this is weird to do. This is a weird yeah. profession. How do they do the masks and the do they take the mask off and drink and put it back on? No, nobody like, was wearing masks. So they, they st- they're done yeah. with that. They had a fucking thermometer at the door. Gotcha. Everybody came in. Yeah, spread that, it out. That's what they said too. They're Every saying other table. people who are asymptomatic typically don't spread it because you have to cough or sneeze to spread the to put stuff yeah. in the air. You have to usually be like, Ugh. I read that, and then uh, that was an argument in the car as well. What? Whether that's true? And I was like, I don't think we know anything about COVID. Mm. I was like, I think in the first week, because I was looking at, I was, you know, I was looking up Notre Dame. Yeah. And they are testing, and anybody that tested for it has to quarantine for two weeks. And then they're going to have practice. Mm-hmm. But I was like, Wait, is the two weeks thing real? I remember that was day one shit. Yeah. That was like in the first week of this disease. They were like, two weeks is the incubation period. Yeah. Well, there's it's like, people- wait, do we, how do we, do we know? Yeah, like, what do the, we know? The virus cuts off at like, it's like, all right, wait for it. Midnight, we're done. Yeah. Get out of yeah, here. Yeah. That's the, uh, yeah, they don't know, man. They, there's people who like walk around me who like will keep a mask around their chin. And then like when they walk by me, they'll put it up real quick. And I'm like, Dude, it's not how it works. Like it, it's been according to you know who you yeah. listen to. It's been spreading as you breathed or talked. Yeah, you're like, what the fuck is this guy talking? Yeah. About? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> we have people who are like, you guys are so busy trying to like convince people Joe Rogan is at his the core of racist human being. When it's yeah. like there's there's like and they use an example of some guy who's in Congress who like did something that was like fundamentally horrific and like like yes. rotten heartedly racist. And then, then when that comes time to like get that guy, all these people can be like, ah, oh, they fucking say this shit about everybody. And it's actually counterproductive. Yeah. But it's also like, why is all this hate? Like that shit will happen. It's like, all right, some weird guy. And they're like, hmm, that was weird. But if it's an entertainer, that's when it's like, eh. it's because there's like, I should be that. There's this weird, disgusting yeah. human aspect of it where it's like, I should be there, not yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. And it's like when a military guy sells out his entire platoon Two like neo Nazis through fucking like a an encrypted app, which I don't know how they got through that encrypted app. I'm kind of curious about that. But the, uh, when they sell them out, and everyone's just kind of like, oh, that's weird. It's like, shouldn't yeah. you be most mad at the actual like the like the yeah the neo Nazi who came out and publicly was like, yes, I know what I was doing. I hope they fucking die. Fuck you guys. Hail Hitler. And they're like, and then like clip that. <laughs> Go ahead and clip that. I'm gonna take ninety percent of the page this month. <laughs> and we'll work from there. <laughs> but it's like why all the why have people it's so crazy how easily you'd be like, all right, clip that. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> well, this is what people again, I, this is calling for a lot. This is what I've been stumbling over the whole time. But it's like if you're securing yourself and you're like, dude. I know who I am as a person. I know what I want out of life. I'm happy with life as it is. Whether I get more stuff or less stuff, you're immune to all this shit because you're just like, yeah, whatever, do whatever, whatever, do whatever the fuck you yeah. guys want. But again, if it's like if you're striving for more, it can everything yeah. can just be taken. That's terrifying, man. There's it nothing is. wrong. Well, with there's wanting. something I want. I want to do a special. Yeah. So I am worried about shit. Sure, absolutely. And yeah. there's nothing wrong with that. It's just it sucks. And even if you're secure as a person. There is a thing where an accusation can just be brought up. Like we just saw it with that dude that I'm friends with. Yeah. It's like his crime was just like, oh, he fucked a couple. He fucked too much. Yeah. Yeah. And like it's now just- don't get again. Fuck it. Whatever. I'm not getting into it. There were people that were like, whether or not this is true, he's a piece of shit. And it's like, you're just going to tweet that. OK. And there's, then there's like a mob that's like, yeah, fuck him. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, man. I mean, dude, it's we're in. We're in the midst of like historically of like hysteria right now. Like it, they'll look back when people oh, get, dude, people are able to talk about hysteria. Yeah. Dude, I told you about that video. This uh, I, I don't want to assume his sexuality, but he had a he's talks away. Sure. Play, <laughs> <laughs> his sexuality has nothing to do with this. I sure. apologize. <clears throat> um, this gay black dude followed this lady home. This sure. white lady, I guess, cut him off and gave him the finger. Yeah. 
So he followed her back to – he accused her of following him at first. And then I guess he followed her back to her house, got out of the car, started filming her, calling her a Karen. Yeah. And she exploded. She was like – it was this – it was literally like he was holding a gun to her and was like, I'm going to kill you. She was. He was holding a phone and be like, look at this fucking Karen. You think you can just treat me like this? And she was like, Wah! like full, like covering her face, like screaming, like, you're yeah, trying to kill me. You're going Karen viral. And dude. then he was like, here's her license plate, everybody. And she like dove to cover it. It was like, no, no. And it was like, you are literally trying to kill this lady, though, for flicking you off. He tossed in. She called me the N-word once. And then he, he backed off that. He went to... I think he was lying about that because he really was focusing on you think you can just flip people off. Yeah. Versus the the one he was like he called, she called me the N word. Anyway, so that he, didn't catch. He tossed that in the video. He did toss <laughs> that real quick, but the majority of the video he's screaming that she flicked him off. Yeah, that would be the first order of business. That would be I feel number like. one if you were trying to carry yeah. somebody. But you flipped me off, and not to mention, chucked yeah, the N word at me. <laughs> Which yeah. I think they were in different cars, and <laughs> if she cut him off, that'd be tough to. He might also have assumed. Unless you Mario Kart the N word out. <laughs> <laughs> like it was a fucking banana. <laughs> I don't know how he got hit by it. But <laughs> think you saw it coming. It was like an upside down question mark box. Like, Bitch. <laughs> yeah, but it's it was like it's and funny. uh it's so funny. It, it was just like, yeah, dude, you can't you can't threaten somebody with <laughs> literally destroying their life. She laid down like a fake foot locker that he drove into. I was like, motherfucker. <laughs> I stand by it. Dude. I stand by it. Oh, man. That's really funny. Dude. funny. Well, the, yeah, I got it. It took me a second. The question mark. Yeah, the, the question mark. Like, oh, sweet. Just, oh, fuck. It's God, like a it. Wiley Coyote foot locker. <laughs> yeah. It's actually a brick wall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the thing sponged. Like, yes, fake foot locker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's good stuff fuck it's it dude right. this is a that's tough episode funny. it's good to hit something funny oh man um yeah but it was it's like the 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 hysterics of the lady first mm-hmm. off i think she was in like a geo metro so things weren't she wasn't killing it dude that's a that that could be an n-word mobile dude <laughs> did it smell like cigarettes i'm not denying that she said it yeah especially if she was like cutting somebody off especially and giving the middle she, finger yeah. <laughs> especially that <laughs> But I don't think he caught it. He was – all right. I take it back. Now that you mention it, you are right. Yeah. He was correct to be like, she called me the N-word. Yeah, I would do it. I mean, right now, no one's to talk about. There's a (laughs) – white ladies white ladies and gay black dudes are at battle right now. There was a gay black dude with the dog. That was the thing that happened. True. There's this guy. I mean, they're they're enemies, bro. (laughs) Gay black dudes and white ladies. Well (laughs) – And like white trash ladies. (laughs) Right. And and also mainly because – I th- gay white white ladies really appropriated the fuck out of gay black dudes culture the last couple of years. Big time, you know. Yeah, starting with like Madonna and Vogue. What was that, bro? I took I took homo- I studied homosexuality in college. For real? Yeah. <laughs> what was the class called? Uh, homosexuality in America. Swag. Fuck my haters, dude. You guys had no idea how well versed I was on this shit. So what happened? Uh, Break it down, dude. Well, voguing. I think it was popularized in New York City. Mm-hmm. That's where you fucking strike the pose. It was just gay drag shows. Hmm. And then uh, Madonna comes out with a Vogue. It's like this straight white lady wants to jump in on this fucking cool ass shit we're doing. Of just like being hot like real quick. Yeah, Vogue. She came out with a song called Vogue. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and it's just been since then. There's been a ton of that. Also, True. Abe Lincoln was gay. True. <laughs> That's what I learned. That's this what they told you in class? Ways. Yeah. Madonna's a Madonna's appropriator. An appropriator. Abe Lincoln was gay. The professor's son was gay and had AIDS. Really? Yeah, and I was scared professor me gay? thinking I had AIDS. No, it was pretty cool. How did the, the, how the, you know the professor was cool. wasn't gay? Uh, he talked about it. He's like, for, for the He's record, like, I'm teaching this class, but I'm not gay. <laughs> He's like, you know, number one, I love getting pussy. <laughs> Dab me up. He's like, He's like, yeah, they paid me an extra like fifty bucks. He says. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> he's like, I'm just doing this for the money, dude. Fuck all this. I don't. Like Did he it. ever at any point in the class be like, no homo? Because <laughs> <laughs> I like, now you see some of these moves are actually pretty cool. No, fucking no homo. Dude. That's a good move right there. Yeah, we That's watched. I remember watching class. like we watched like drag dance offs. Mm-hmm. That was like a class. I had to sit there and be like, 
Gay black dudes. <laughs> Voguing? Yes, honey, bitch. Like all that. Oh. All of that. It's basically fucking what's it called? That show. Uh Broad City. Oh, it's yeah. It's just yeah. like a Jewish yeah. chick and a white chick that are like, bitch, fuck you. Yeah. yeah. True. It's like, all right, so you just stole gay black culture. Yeah. And then which, look, which kind of I'm all right with appropriating. As you can tell by the clap while I talked. <laughs> That's, I think, how everybody works as humans. But when you appropriate that hard and claim to be the liberal righteousness, that's when it's fucking fake and it's annoying. Yeah. No, I mean, do it again. There's this, I'll venture to yeah. say there's an equal nerd ratio within the races. I'll say it. Mm. True. I'll say it. Well, it's also nerd culture. Per capita. Glorified by white people for a while, where it's like, oh yeah, you, oh yeah, all those movies that came out, they're like that some weird guy science, in a varsity, Revenge of the Nerds, yeah, some varsity guys. Football like, players are losers, right? That must have fucked kids up in high school, coming into school like with like a slingshot, be like, huh, I got you, jock. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like I set up a booby trap for the jocks today, because first off, all nerds aren't smart. No, most true. nerds are just like retarded. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> retarded. I I learned, that, I learned that the hard way one time, and I cheated off of a guy in college. I yeah, he had, he had tape on his glasses. You're like, got it. Aggressively, the yeah. only guy I know who has tape on his glasses is fucking Wood. True, <laughs> true. <laughs> Literally the dumbest guy. I know. Would you ever see like a, you ever, like there's like extreme level of nerds where they like sit with like their feet like locked under them in a chair, and you're just like, dude, you gotta be smart as fuck. They like sit with like their feet, their heels will be like, up by their yeah. back, and they're just like. Sitting in class, you're like definitely cheating on this guy. I fucking cheated off his test. Then afterwards, I was like, I got a 68. I'm like, dude, didn't you study? And he was like, All right. I was like, <laughs> you just absolutely. You, are you are you a freak? I thought you were a nerd. <laughs> True. True. That is the subculture. <laughs> the freak nerd. A lot of the freaks. True. The freaks just... ruin the nerds. True. Just... Good name. I love a good. I like a good freak though. You see, a, you see a kid like hugging his books when he walks down the hallway. <laughs> yeah. you're like perfect. I homed in on like a shark. I'm like, oh, <laughs> perfect. Dude. kid knows. I like didn't study at all for this. It was like you know his in college was like that wild. Yeah. <laughs> his book bag was all of his books, and he's still holding some. It was just manifestos. Pants up too high. The khakis up high. <laughs> Not too high. That's the stereotype of the nerds. True. But like his, he walks fast. The nerdier you are, the faster Walks you walk. Walks fast and on the balls of your feet. You yes. don't touch your heels, touch the ground. He's a little light and loafers. He's a Jan port. He's like 40 pounds of manifestos. He's like, nah, that one was last year. So I'm just the updated. True. And the freaks and nerds split when we were there. Yeah. Same with when our parents were in high school. The gays and nerds split. True. Because they didn't know gay people existed. And they'd be like, look at how he walks down the hallway. Fucking nerd. <laughs> and then they were like, you know guys fuck each other? They're like, what? <laughs> that's what those dudes are doing like oh, what the fuck what that's so funny yeah yeah man that's uh hey don't get fooled man don't think you cannot study for an entire semester and be like who's the weakest in here i'm just gonna copy <laughs> <Here's the weakest laughs> man. Uh, i'm gonna copy yeah, girls him. girls are tough because there's horse girls and there's smart dorks true horse and girls. both of them are linked by like mustaches <laughs> Mustaches and like hair down to their ass. Like they all have like Amish hair. <laughs> and like one of these is smart. One of them is a literally retarded person. Yeah, one of them is just <laughs> here for a little bit and they'll be right back to working with horses. The dad's like, all right, come on. Let me go. Dude, over there. there's a girl. Oh, yo, this is a – ah, fuck. I don't know how old she is. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Are you in communication with a horse girl? No. No, I could be fooled, dude. I've been tricked. Damn it, I told myself I was going to stop doing these. What? You know, remember Bad Baby? Yeah. I thought she was hot. And then someone was like, you know, she's like 15. I was like, I'm out. You're out. I'm out. I think she's 17 now. Still, it was been, it's been, I thought she was hot for a oh, while. Oh, okay. So I was like, <laughs> <laughs> Look, I didn't think who's she was bad, hot. Who's Bad like, Baby? I didn't think she was hot. Like, I wanted to fuck her like that. Yeah. You wanted she's to just like, this. inbox her, talk to her for a while. I wanted to. Gauge your temperature. Wait till she's eighteen. <laughs> is that wrong? I hope my th it's called a grooming. I hope no, my I thigh. I hope my thighs aren't showing on the. I know. Me too. My <laughs> pants have been my... creeping up high. Yeah, mine too. Do the gamer chairs turn you into dorks? <laughs> <laughs> Do gamer chairs just transform you? I think they just pull your pants up in a way that like cut your testicles off from like yeah, producing just, sperm. Gamer chairs were a mistake. My ass has never been hotter. Yeah, Every man. time we do this, it's just a swamp ass. Yeah. Uh, but there's a girl who's been acting like a dog. 
She's been crawling around like a dog. Oh, like a, she's like a horse girl, except it's a dog girl. Yeah. What about her? Some, some. There's something there. Someone wait. Some. Look, like, I mean, I'm not saying I'm jerking off to it. Of course, dude. Nothing like that. Of course not. But I was I'd supposed to. to, kill, I, have to I saw kill this you, video and I was supposed <laughs> to hate it. Who sent it to you? It's just. It's kind of been circulating. Has anybody seen this girl acting like a dog? She's like drinking out of a bowl in the mall. Okay. Wild. Yeah. Find out how old she is before we continue, though. I'm not, look, I'm just, we're talking about a girl who's acting like a dog, dude. Yeah. Although to cover bases, we should ID the tape. We should ID this. Well, you've pretty much already told on yourself. <laughs> I certainly did. No, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't remember how I felt when I saw the image. You saw a woman acting as an animal. Yes. And you were saying if you were a dog, too. His eyes lit up. Fuck. She's 12. No, it's something. Oh, fucking. Hold on, but hold on. Yo, here's what no one wants to talk about. If she's a dog, then does her age multiply by seven? <laughs> you're, you're looking she at her. She has to be underage. You're looking at her in dog this is years. a mistake. But, but you're. I did give her the dog years because I accepted her. I so She identified as canine. Exactly. And in today's standards, I believe I believe. She's 49. She's a fucking <laughs> geezer. You guys are killing me on this. I think I found her name, but I'm not sure. That's not her name. A Oksana Malaya. Sounds like a dog different, lady. Different. That's the other one I was talking about. It's a okay. different dog lady? Yeah, and she's 36, though. This is not her. Okay. This girl is definitely Early like... Early 20s. Really? Yeah. Your puppy girl, Jenna, on TikTok? Has to be her. Does she have a fat ass? <laughs> Noah, you, she's ugly. Noah, you better be right, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, it's her. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Safe. <laughs> Slide, look up. <laughs> look at the ump. God that damn. Thank one. God. I had so many perverted thoughts about this. 